magsasabit ka sa lie detector test at willing ka. Mm-hmm. You sure? Pwede pag-usapan muna na po namin nila ng mga pamilya ko. Okay, now she's having Pero, second thoughts of submitting herself mm-hmm. into a uh, lie detector test. She's having second thoughts? Yes. For the last time, willing ho ba kayo mag-submit sa lie detector test? She's having second thoughts yes. of doing a lie detector test. Yes. I know the truth. So, ito pong lie detector test, ito po ay uh, voluntary para Opa. sa iyong kaalaman. At ito po ay hindi tinatanggap sa korte. Opo. However, ito pong lie detector test makakatulong para magbigay ng guide, <coughs> idea sa mga investigator paano sila mag-approach sa paggagawa nila na patuloy na pag-iimbestiga. So, for the last time, willing ho ba kayo mag-submit sa lie detector test. Opo Same naman. Day. Opo really. naman po. Pwede naman ho kayo accompany na inyong kamag-anak if that will make you comfortable. If she just cooperates, I think that I won't press charges as hard as I normally would. Like, I, I don't care to see her in jail. It's not like, I don't get pleasure out of it. But if she cooperates and helps bring down this this syndicate, then I would be, I'd be very great, grateful. And if I can somehow get some of my money back, I would be That would mean everything to me because that's... Okay. Naintindihan mo yun? That's, that's, that's my life. After okay. I leave here... Yeah. Pero okay. yun nga po, wala naman po kong sapat na... Ginamin ko naman po na wala po talaga akong nalaman dun, sir. Okay. All you need to do daw is to admit to your sins and then sabi mo kung sino mga kasama mo. Help. Help us. Help the investigators para ma-identify kung sino sino mga yun and you'll be protected. We'll give you protection to the NBI or the PNP kung saan komportable. Basta aminin mo lang kung sino yung mga kasama mo at yun ay hulihin para matapos na wala na maloko ng mga tao. Especially mga foreigners. Apo. Would you think about that? Kaso wala, hindi, wala nga po akong alam kung sino po yung nag... Ano, sa... Mr. Bantao. Yes, sir. May meron ho ba polygraph uh, machine dyan sa inyo? Meron po. Meron po, sir. Okay, Ms. Janice, when would you like us to accompany to the NBI for the uh, polygraph exam? Would you like to do that now? Pwede naman po. Ngayon na? Mm-mm. Good. Better. Sir, gaano ba katagal pag halimbawa siya po nag, uh, sa ilalim ng uh, polygraph test, gaano katagal para malaman agad yung resulta? I think mabilis lang din naman po siguro yung resulta niyan. She's the sister of Janice and she has something to say? Hindi ko po kasi nakita kanina yung pinakaano nila eh, conversation. Pero para sa akin po, una pa lang po, dapat naisip na po ni sir na yung binibigay niyang pera sa di ba doon sa scammer nga doon pala nag-isip na siya na nag-isip na siya agad na bakit ako magpapadala ng pera hindi nga kita kilala doon pa lang po di ba mag-iisip na po siya no because there are so many uh, scammers who are so good in convincing people that they're legit and there are people who are very kind and uh, who are sincere in uh, getting into a relationship and that's why it's so easy for them to be duped to be fooled Mm-mm. and they give in to you know what the scammer says Mm-mm. pero para sa akin po gusto ko pong maklear yung pangalan ng kapatid ko kasi po kami naman po sorry <laughs> um, syempre nanay na din po ako alam ko po yung sitwasyon niya And also, gusto ko rin maklear na hindi po siya yung scam. May narinig lang po ako kanina na best friend mo? Mm-hmm. Sino? Sabi. Pero ayoko sabihin din ng pangalan. Oh, sige. Magsalita ka para sa sarili mo kasi mm-hmm. takot. Ayoko. Huwag ka matakot kasi nga sabi ko nga sa iyo. Kung matatakot ka, hindi mo maki-clear yung yung ano natin eh. Yung <laughs> Yung dignidad natin dito, wait. Eh. Yung dignidad natin yung uh, babangga dito, Janice. <coughs> Lalo na babae pa po kami for our okay. security. Ma'am, kanina pinangako yung seguridad ninyo. Ganyan yes. po ang nakikita ko, ma'am. Sasamahan namin siya ngayon sa NBI, kasama po kayo. Yes po. Gusto ko din makita yun yes. ng scam sa kanya. Right. After po ng polygraph exam, kami po ay gagawa ng aming desisyon whether to continue helping her yes, or sir. to stop helping her. Yes, Pabayan sir. natin yung NBI. Yes, or po. bigyan natin kayo ng public attorney's office kung siya ay magpa-press charges. Yes po. Okay? Yes po. Siningil namin yung per- tao na yan. But she blocked us. And 
Yun nga po. Uh, mm-hmm. Hanggang doon na lang po yung sasabihin ko kasi okay. syempre for security din ng family niya. Okay. So, ma'am, okay sa inyo. We'll go to the NBI for yes, the po. lie detector test. Yes po. All right. And then, may message din po kay Sir Brendon. Sir Brendon, mm-hmm. um, we we came here for a... Uh, with ano uh, honesty and also for uh, for our safety also because we are a women <laughs> and we have to fight up for our for our rights we we we, we, we are maybe we are poor but we know in ourselves that <laughs> we are honest and we are humbly came here for our For our justice, for that person who who claim your, I don't know what is your transaction with her, but I want to clear my sister's name, and she's very innocent on that thing, and our our dreams for her is to graduate in police. So I believe in myself that um she can have she can never do that because. Her idol is there. There's a celebrity that she idolized very much, which is Robin Padilla. She idolized that person very much. Mom, it has nothing to do with her idolizing people. Yes, That's yes. why she's uh, she's gonna she's okay, uh, okay, she's sir. innocent. No, Mom, that's not a, that's also, a lame excuse. And also, Sorry. Sir Brandon, um, she she wanted really her her dream is to serve the country, our country. So that's why I believe that she she cannot do that to you, and I hope you find the justice that you really need. And can you can we also ask for help? That this is very uh, scandalous to our family, and also to me um, because I'm her I'm her eldest sister, and I'm just protecting her, and I know that that's her right. That's our right. It would really help a lot yeah. if you can convince your tipster to come into the open yes, and, <coughs> I, and, and, I, I and, try, and issue a statement yes, right. uh, to the NBI. It's if so they, hard to believe that she doesn't know what she's doing. If these people really wants, want the truth to come out mm. and so that they want to put a stop to this scam, as they said, it's a big syndicate. Right. They wanted to make sure that the scam would stop. Right. Then they should cooperate and help the authorities, right, the NBI, but because they're, they're mom, afraid for their lives, though. That's no, why. no, they, they should not use that as a reason that they're scared, afraid for their life. Yeah, I because know. the NBI can provide them security through right. the witness right. protection program. There's such a thing here. She gave me a whole list of names, the people that work there, the faces, the everyone, the, the Facebook profiles, okay, multiple good. different names. Okay, good. So uh, the when we go to the NBI, give all those kind of information. That's very important. Right. Yeah, that's very helpful. So yeah. give all those information I understand to the that, NBI. Let me just say, I understand that you're poor and I understand that times are hard and, and trying, right? Like you don't have money, right? I get it. You know, now I don't have any money and I'm, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make crime right. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that it should not be punished like if you don't get punished then how are you ever going to learn you know what i mean that's why that's why there's a that's why there is law and order you know that's why the you know the judicial system you know that's why we have it right i got you i got you i know so, where you're coming from yeah I, I, you know i, I, I understand you. that you're going to use the reason she, that you're poor so that you don't get that persecuted like, i believe she does have a soul like i want to believe that i wanted to believe that from the beginning i wanted to believe she was real but she just chose the wrong path over and over again like i had money you could have been with me instead of pay- getting a chump chain salary you could have been with me if you were really there i thought you i mean i spoke with you for brief for a brief amount of time and then i texted you and i thought it was you and i don't okay. i don't know Paano po talaga kung hindi po talaga siya yun? And she was she's a victim also of this kind of scamming. To the NBA, malalaman natin kung sino yung nasa likod noon. Kasi itong anti-cybercrime, they yes, have the technology po. to trace it. I also to understand. Track, track it down. Sir, so, but but mm-hmm. right now, if you really want me to continue helping you guys, go to that lie detector yes, test. Yes, And then if, if she passes, then I'll continue helping you. Yes, sir. If not, Then I'll say, "This we have the public attorney's office to continue helping you guys." Yes, sir. You know, and yes. then the NBI as well. At bo naman po ang loob ko. Nanini wala ko sa kapatid ko na. Okay, sige wala po. po siya yung kasalanan. Sige po. Punta tayo sa NBI ngayon na. Yes, po. And then after dun sa NBI investigation, then let's see what happens. Sabi ng NBI, mabilis lang daw yan. Mm-mm. Baka tomorrow alam na natin yung resulta. Then po dyan tayo bumalik dito. Usap ulit tayo.
Yes po. Okay. Sir Efren, on the way na po kami. Pakaintay lang po kami, ha, Sir Efren. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sir Efren. Mr. Efren Abantao, okay, Executive Officer, Cybercrime Division, NBI, National Bureau of Investigation. Thank you, Mr. Abantao, sir. Welcome, sir. Go to the NBI. Let's do it. Uh, she's going to go with us. Yes, sir. And then all the information or uh, pieces of evidence that you have, show it to the NBI. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly, I have no, I, have, I find there's no pleasure in this for me to put, to in, incarcerate you or whatever, you know, it, to incriminate you. It's, uh, it's not why I'm here. I just want my money back. I just want yes, my money. Sir. I just want my life back. Anyway, I, I, you know, I wasn't ready to, you know, be on TV in front of all of the Philippines, you know, with my shame. But, you know, you should be way more ashamed. There's, there's anyway. no shame of being, uh, being scammed, sir. Oh, trust me. I mean, there's so I many people her. every I, single I, day being scammed. I trusted her. I believe that there is a good person deep down in there. I just don't. I thought that she was. I thought she was there. I thought she was. Anyway. Like I said, sir, maybe you're telling the truth. Maybe your, your accusation is true. Maybe. My and maybe accusation. not. That's why we go to the NBI and let's see what happens after the NBI investigate. Until the NBI comes up with their uh, findings. Oh, from the whistleblower? Yes, from the yeah, pieces yeah. of evidence that right, you have yeah. now, from the statements of your tipster mm. and, and all other evidence that you have that you present to the NBI, yes, including the result of the lie detector test, only then... I'll make my judgment right now. I'm not going to come yeah, up with a judgment saying that she's guilty. She's not. I'm not going to say she's not guilty. No, should I say what she's I, guilty? I think that she started the job not knowing fully what she was getting herself into. Maybe. She's in Maybe hot not. water now and she doesn't like it. That's what I think is happening. Probably. But anyways, Probably. you know. Yeah. Kung meron po kayong sabihin, wag kayo matakot, mas yes. kami. Andito naman ako. Totoo po, andito po ako. I can protect you, I promise. Pwede natin sabihin yun off-air para mas mapabilis investigation, para totally magkaroon na tayo ng clear mind, all of us. Okay? Bago tayo pumunta sa NBI. Do we really need to go to the NBI? Or we don't have to? Yun ang po ang tanong ko. Ito na po para dito mag-sign na oras. Kailan po na natin pumunta sa NBI? Dito pa lang tapusin natin. And I can help you.